Right everyone, so I've been in the Philippines about two months now and I thought I would just talk to you about is it a place that I could actually live? Is it a place I could settle? Am I still enjoying it? Or do I think it's time to leave? Well, let's start with the first thing. So when I first got here, I arrived in Makati and I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit of a culture shock. I think just whenever you come to any country for the first time, uh, you're always on edge a little bit, you know? It's going into the unexpected, should we say. It just takes a little bit of time to adapt and to evolve into the new culture. So yeah, when I first got to Makati, obviously I, I was a little bit on edge. Um, there's a lot of people just hanging around the streets at night kind of giving you looks, uh, lots of kids begging, that sort of stuff. Felt a little bit, I felt like it was a little bit unsafe at the time, but I'd never had any troubles. And now I'm used to it. All that kind of paranoia has gone and I genuinely feel uh, really safe here. So let's start with the things that I don't like so much and then we'll end it on a positive note, okay? And this is not, you know, it's not me disrespecting anything about the country or anything like that. It's just things that are different here. And it, you know, sometimes takes a little bit of time to adjust to. So the first thing is first is obviously the traffic. Uh, in Manila especially, the traffic is crazy. Um, there's not really any other options to get around. So, it took me a little while to get used to the fact that I had to get a taxi everywhere. Uh, but now, now I'm used to it. It's, um, it's not really an issue now. I'm just, I'm getting more patient, I think. Things take a long time here sometimes. For example, I went into Starbucks the other day. Um, I needed to use their internet because my internet was down at my hotel. And then it wasn't that busy. There was only about three or four people in front of me. And I'm not exaggerating, it took about 40 minutes to get one coffee. I don't understand how four customers in front of me can be, you know, 10 minutes a person just to say, can I have a latte please? Here's the money. But it is what it is. If that's all I've got to moan about, it's, I'm doing all right, I know. So stop moaning, Mr. Mark. So the second thing that I'm not very keen on is um well actually I, I don't like at all is the taxi drivers i mean i've probably asked about 50 people to put the meter on and i've probably only had about three people that have actually shown me a little bit of respect you know i don't mind tipping that's fine if they just put the meter on i'll help them out but when they're like trying to charge you three times, four times, five times. It's uh, taking the pee a little bit, you know? So that's the second thing. Third thing, um, when I arrived in Manila Airport, not Clark, what's the other one called? Ninoy or something? I went to use the ATM and it got declined. So I went, there was about five different ATMs there and four of them declined it. So I was like, okay, I've just arrived. I've got no money. I, I banked with NatWest, one of the biggest banks in England. And luckily the fifth machine that I tried was a Metro bank. And that is the only one that I can actually use in the whole of Manila pretty much. Occasionally you see a Euro bank and that works, but they're the only two, and there's about 10 other options. So yeah, that's a bit annoying. Right, so I think that's about it. They're pretty much the only things that I don't like or are a little bit frustrating about the Philippines so far. So there's not that many bad things really, but the good things weigh, they definitely outweigh the, uh, the bad ones. I didn't know there's a boxing gym here, look at this. Muay Thai, boxing, jiu-jitsu. Maybe I'll get ripped 
Nah, too lazy. Like the beer too much. But anyway, let's get on to the good things. Like the beaches. The beaches here, oh my God, they are world class. Never seen anything like that before. I've been, to, I've been to a lot of Asia as well. And they're definitely like the best I've ever seen. Also, as everyone says, it's true. Uh, the people here are amazing. And the government even, you know, they can give you up to a three year visa as a foreigner. So, for someone who wants to settle somewhere for a while, it's just the easiest thing ever. Just keep going back to immigration. As long as you've been a good boy, They'll just keep it. They'll just keep extending it for you. Might cost you a little bit more money each time, but happy days. Give give the economy the money. You know, cost of living. It's pretty pretty good. You got every option here. You can either stay in BGC, the most prestigious place here, which is still affordable, or you could stay. I don't know somewhere in the province and live live for free nearly so there you go you've got every single option yeah it's getting dark outside so let's finish it up in the room so yeah the beaches here are literally world class like, i've never seen beaches that good before for example baraka the sand is so powdery and so white and the water is just like this light blue color but it's completely transparent at the same time it is just amazing obviously the the next reason is what everybody says but it is true the people here are so friendly so lovely um all the different like i walked past a school earlier um about five different kids run out saying mr mark they've already subscribed to my channel uh, they're always happy to see me. They live in around this area. Uh, yeah, they're so supportive, so friendly, so nice. And yeah, it's just awesome. So yeah, the other reason is the immigration. So lots of countries, including my one, England, it's just so easy to get a visa here. Roll up your 30-day one, and you can just keep extending it up to three years, which is insane in the membrane insane in the brain and yeah to be welcomed like like that is awesome i mean no issues with immigration whatsoever oh yeah another thing um so some people warned me about my safety and the food before i got here so i thought okay so is 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 the philippines a little bit dangerous i would actually say no i've had no issues in the two months that I've been here. Um, you can get a little bit paranoid. Sometimes you've got, you know, just be sensible. Like sometimes you walk down like a dark alley or something, you think I shouldn't be here at this time of night. Um, especially if you was drunk or something, but you know, that would apply anywhere, wouldn't it? You wouldn't do that in London. So I would say the Philippines is safe and the food, yeah, the food I'm enjoying. Like down this street where I'm staying in Makati, there's just loads of barbecue food, uh, lots of like Filipino buffet style. So they get up early in the morning, they all cook sort of like 10 to 12 massive portions of food. And then you can just get a little portion of whatever you want and have it with rice. And yeah, it's really tasty. I mean, it doesn't really taste Asian, Like it's nothing like Chinese food, Thai food, Indian food. There's not really, much similarities to the sort of Asian cuisine. Um, but I have to say it is all really good. So yeah, I'm enjoying the food. I feel safe. The people are amazing. The immigration's good. Um, there's some really pretty Filipino girls. Giggity. So yeah, they all speak English here as well, which makes the language barrier just super easy. So overall, I would say, yes, I could definitely live in the Philippines. Um, it took me a little while to adjust to it, but now I'm used to it. I would say, yeah, I'd probably prefer to live in a city. Um, yeah, I could live in Manila, I could live in Cebu, 
Davao. It just, it'd be cool to be near a beach as well, I guess. So I haven't really decided where I would like to sort of settle in the, in the Philippines. Um, but for now, I'm enjoying Manila. Um, I'm gonna extend my visa again soon, which means I'm gonna stay a bit longer. And uh, yeah, so double thumbs up to the Philippines. Filipinas, all the way, baby. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care from Mr. Matt.